about the message and the meaning. And he's got a powerful message to present tonight. Let's bring him to the stage. Can we please welcome Dingo? Cousins. Sometimes I get concerned about all those closets with all those clothes. You see, as plastic as war is, the Cold War made sense. The enemy was understood and no one would push the button. The emergence of new button pushers must be scary and you have a whole neighborhood to run. So let's provide guns and funds for all our friends of the moment. Work the manifest destiny and the Roosevelt corollary into one imperialist policy. Erect puppet governments. Keep trading one button pusher for another. Then clasp our hands to our faces and scream like Macaulay Culkin because we're surprised to find we're not home alone. <laughs> Something's burning, this is your pot to cool the foot, the shot to put it in your mouth, talking about weapons of mass destruction, a weapon of mass distraction, infractions on civil liberties to achieve same because you came to save the world and God must be a ventriloquist. I'm not saying the president is a dummy, but maybe I was the only one who saw his ad in the paper. Underrated, barely elected rebel seeks cause. So the allies kneel before the burning bush. Allies in cohesion, allies by coercion, be all you can buy. <laughs> At least when Wild Bill squeezed, he only messed up a dress. <laughs> Democracy has never come easy, surviving it is becoming equally difficult. Does the three-legged rabbit feel lucky? The liberated seem unimpressed, at last a little stressed, and me, I'm glued to CNN where the war has its own theme song because I, I like to play by play, the unrivaled objectivity. In our last war against the Taliban, I say, oh, because I learned from movies who the good guys are. It wasn't nearly as exciting, but I like the title dubbed America's New War. It spoke to the history and hinted of things to come. But I was somewhat confused by the war, not this war, but the one in Vietnam where a black man could lose sight of his plight, fighting for his right to have no rights, sailing black battleships into paradox. But today I pray for the fallen sons on both sides for all the bloodshed. Erect the wall, write the names of the dead, wrap them in bloodied flags and send them to God. And all that remains is weeping mothers, children, and wives left with closets with all those clothes. Yeah. <laughs> 